Hey, what's up, guys? Christian Brindle here, and I am back with another video. And today I'm joined by somebody that is no stranger to the channel. I am joined by um, Jess Adkins of Agent Pipeline. And um, Jess's, Jess's title at Agent Pipeline is Senior Vice President of Sales Enablement. And Jess is going to be taking the stage at the third well, I guess technically it's the first seven-figure Medicare Agent Summit because the first two were six-figure Medicare Agent Summit. So technically speaking, but the third year of the of our of our annual event in June in Savannah, Georgia this year, um, she was nice enough to take some time and kind of jump on with me today and talk a little bit about what um, she's planning on kind of talking about and kind of giving you guys a little bit of a teaser of what you can expect at the event this year. So Jess, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I am doing awesome. Um, thank you for taking the time out and kind of spending some time with me here today. And um, so first off, just in case anybody might not know who you who you are, or maybe they haven't seen any of the previous videos we've done, talk a little bit about Jess and talk a little bit about what you do inside of Agent Pipeline. I know, I know there's a multitude of things that you do, but <laughs> do your best to kind of give, give the people a little a bit of a, a summary of kind of your role with Agent Pipeline. Sure. So I uh, have been with Agent Pipeline. This is my 12th year. It didn't dawn on me until a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, wow, it has been 12 years. And I, you know, previous, previously, I, I was an insurance agent. I sold life insurance. So I kind of got my start in the industry doing feet on the street work. And prior to insurance, I had experience with, um, you know, psychology, marketing, things like that for my dad's radio station. I did web design and things like that. Uh, so I didn't enjoy life insurance sales and I uh, started working at Agent Pipeline where I uh, ultimately ended up becoming the director of marketing, uh, and from there, I ended up picking up technology in my wheelhouse uh, because I do have some experience with that. So um, today, what I, what my team does is uh, anything that you see the Agent Pipeline brand on, we touch that, we create that. Um, we're responsible for designing all of the content marketing, the training materials. Um, social media, email marketing. We work with our agencies and design strategy for marketing. Uh, and then, of course, we manage all of our agent technology and help our partners build out some of their business processes through automation and uh, just share best practices. So uh, to your point, a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you We were talking before we turned on the recording about, you know, multi-talented, and I think you fit the definition of that. Um, oh, to, well, a, to a to a T, and uh, what I mean, we and you mentioned your previous role, you know, kind of your, your previous title, I should say, you know, being the director of marketing. I think that's what I always think of you as, because I think when we first started connecting, that's that's what was the 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 title that you had. And I remember coming to the offices a few years back, mm -hmm. and you know, everybody kind of thinks about me when it comes to content marketing. That's kind of one thing I'm known for. But I come through the offices and you're like, you're like, let me show you the studio. Let me show you our studio. And it was like, it was like a hundred times better than where I would film my videos. Like it had the lighting and everything, like the camera. I was like, I was like, okay, I'm like, I got to step my game up a little bit. Um, and I've learned a ton of things, you know, from you since we've gotten to know each other over the past couple of years. Talk a little bit about the, 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 the event coming up in June. What, what are some things that you are... Um, planning on talking about without giving away, of course, everything, but what are, what are some topics and lines of conversation that you're going to be bringing to the event? Yeah. So I think, you know, um, one thing that is near and dear to my heart, even though I am, you know, marketing heavy and technology, it's also uh, process management and, you know, operational function, which ultimately, you know, if you take, all of your technology and you pair it with operations and marketing, you can really increase your efficiency, which um, leads to more sales, more opportunity, more client retention. So uh, that is really what I want to do in 2024 is kind of spearhead the initiative to help agents 
understand that, um, you know, business process automation doesn't have to be complicated. They don't have to hire, you know, these IT wizards out there to do things. Um, they can effectively automate some of their business processes uh, on their own, right? So they can stay within their budget and they can empower themselves to really, you know, embrace the technology and grow their business. Um, you know, like just that entrepreneurial spirit. Like, yes. I love that. And so like, I just really want to help agents cultivate that and, and run with it this year. I feel like this is the year for agents to really like redefine what they're doing in their agency and, you know, leveraging technology to power that. Yeah. I, yeah, I couldn't agree more with you. Um, you know, and I think like for me personally, like I, I, I think about everything you just said and like, I think a lot of agents feel like they need a, you know, marketing savant or guru or something like that, right. or they need an IT person internally or something like that before any of that stuff is really possible. And, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, everything that I, every anything that we've done, you know, on digital marketing space or automation at, at, at CBIS even, you know, was self-taught by me. And I'm not saying that I'm the best at it, or I know everything. I certainly don't have a lot to learn, but I think about how far I, that we've been able to come because of learning those things. And it's really just kind of putting in that, that work of being willing to kind of learn some of it a little bit and picking up nuggets from people like yourself over the, over time and being, having the, having the, the patience and the courage to try to implement it. Right. Yeah. That's the key word, the courage, right? The courage and the confidence. And I think, you know, agents get, they get all these ads and they see all these posts about, um, you know, I need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on this technology and that technology. And then what they get is they get all of these separate systems that don't talk to one another. And so then they're, you know, downloading spreadsheets and trying to do all of this. And it, it ultimately becomes a situation where they're, they just surrender and they don't do any of it and they're back to like, you know, square one. So, um, yeah, I think just having some confidence within themselves and understanding like they are 100% capable of doing this and doing it awesome. I, it, it really is a game changer once they allow themselves to kind of, you know, I got this. Yeah. hundred percent, hundred percent. I think, you know, I, and I, I think, there's so many things that I've been able to learn at events, right? From somebody on a stage that's teaching something mm -hmm. like this. And I think for anybody that's considering coming to the event, or maybe you already have a ticket and you're coming to the event, you know, being able to see someone like Jess, who's incredibly talented at, at what she's going to be teaching about, teach for, you know, being able to teach that from stage, you're going to be able to walk away for, with some great nuggets, right? That you can mm -hmm. implement. And, um, my advice to to this event for anybody that's coming is, you know, come ready to take notes, you know, because yeah. our intention is to really kind of overload you with good information, right? And like, you know, I it, it's kind of funny. I've heard people say before, like when you go to an event, you probably, you're not gonna be able to probably implement everything, but you look for two or three things that you can implement and, or maybe even make a list and be like, okay, I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna yeah. start with this. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's anything that's more relevant in 2024 for agents than making sure that they got this together, right? I think you kind of mm -hmm. we're getting to the point where you need it to really survive, right? Would yeah. you agree with that? I would. Yeah. I think um it's absolutely necessary and uh, many agents have you know just been afraid of the change or been afraid of being able to survive the change um but it's because they it's just not having that knowledge of, of realizing how simple it can be. And again, so that's kind of my initiative for 2024 is to really, even if it's handholding, like let's handhold everybody and let's bring everybody along. There's enough room for everyone on this journey. There's tons of beneficiaries who need help. And when we can all work together and implement some of these uh, processes to not only make the sales, the quoting, the administrative processes easier, but also improving the overall client experience. 
helping yeah. with the retention, that is even more impactful than, you know, just streamlining voting and enrolling, you know, yeah. that changes everything. Yeah. I, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Um, last question I have for you. Mm -hmm. Um, what are you looking forward to the most about the event for yourself? What, what is, what is the thing you're looking forward to the most? <laughs> so, um, I have never been to Savannah, Georgia. And Ooh. yes, so one of my favorite books, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. And it is, Savannah has been on my bucket list for a while. I was actually going to go for my birthday um, in November this, this past year, um, but I had a scheduling conflict. So I had to cancel my trip. And oh. shortly after you actually invited me to speak and I was like, this must be the universe telling me Savannah yes. is for me. So I'm really excited. I'm I'm super excited to hear that. Like anybody I've talked to that hasn't been before, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It makes me even more excited because I'm like, it's beautiful. You know, it's yeah, it's such a cool it's such a, it's such a cool area. It's such it's it's very beautiful. There's a lot of cool and fun things to do, and so I'm I'm super excited about that. After last year's event, we. I took my family to Hilton Head for two weeks, which is an hour away from Savannah. So we have to fly into Savannah, get a car, drive in. So we spent a bunch of time in Savannah, kind of going back and forth. And um, yeah, it was um, it was beautiful. And it was around the same time of the year it's going to be this year. So it's it's a perfect time of year to go. It's not too hot, not too humid. Yeah, um, it's going to be good. So I'm 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 excited about it. Um, Jess, where can people find you if they wanted to connect with you? What's the best place or the best way? Yeah, so um, I am on Facebook. I'm in all of the Facebook groups. I'm actually an admin in your marketing group, so you can yes. find me there. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn, and of course, you can always send me an email. It's super easy to remember, jessica.adkins at agentpipeline.com. So um, tons of different ways you can connect with me, and I'm happy to connect with anyone, answer questions, brainstorm, collaborate. I love it. Awesome. Awesome. Um, guys, if you don't have your tickets already, we're going to leave a link down in the description of this video. Make sure to get your tickets. They're going fast. And we hope to see you guys in Savannah in June. Um, thanks, Jess, for coming on. Appreciate your time. Oh, thanks for having me. See you guys in Savannah.